Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to my channel Coding Swift. Today I am going to show you how splash screen works in Swift. We can also call it as custom launch screen. For custom launch screen we need to create a separate view controller because Xcode doesn't allow you to attach custom view controller file to your launch screen storyboard. Without making any delay, let's get into the video. I have created brand new project. I'm taking another view controller. And you can set it as the initial view controller. Let's create a new view controller file. Select for core touch class, name it as splash view controller. Make sure you have selected UI view controller. Click on next, click on create, go to storyboard. You or select your view controller and attach new view controller file that is splash view controller now this view controller works as splash view controller or custom launch screen now just add some colors to this view controller Okay. I'm adding a label to it. Adjust this label according to your need. I'm just naming as Flash screen. Text color white. Mean giving constraints horizontally center and vertically center in the container. And our main main view controller. Uh, I'm giving background color to it like this and same I'm taking another label to it onto it and I'm naming it as main screen increasing size much bigger Color to white and giving constraints horizontally and vertically in the container. Okay, now click on assistant editor, select our splash screen file. Drag this label onto our screen. Call it as splash screen label. Okay. Just remove unwanted code. Here we are going to write code for splash screen dispatch to dot main dot 
async after deadline this one we want and time just now plus 5 seconds so it will start execution after 5 seconds inside this completion handler sorry inside this curly braces okay. storyboard equal to us story sorry us storyboard and name as main this is the name of our storyboard and bundle equal to nil now let main view controller equal to storyboard third instantiate view controller instantiate view controller with identifier here we have to provide identifier the main view controller and giving same name as class name and just copy paste it we have to don't cast it as view control okay now present our view controller name main vc and we need animations so true completion handler so we need to provide self because we are inside of completion handler so now we have to make transition from one, one view control to another view control so ui view dot animate with duration yes this one time interval mm, one second delay we don't want much delay so i'm just giving off a second options is like anything you can give and just leave my reverse animations view dot alpha equal to zero completion is set here let's see run and check it okay I forgot to change long screen file you will have to change that One second, we will be back. Just go to project settings under general tab. Here, non screen file change to main file so there won't be any non screen. Here you can see here, yeah. but we are getting this this effect. So user can drag this down. So to control that, we have to make it full screen. Main dot main main dc dot. Model presentation style equal to dot 
full screen and we can make some transition style equal to dot mm. horizontal so let's see Here we go. We have made transition between one one view controller to another view controller. And one more thing we have to do is we can make our splash screen some flashing effect with text animation. So here okay. Must Just to make our splash screen label text as empty now create a variable now we have to look through this text and attach each letter to our splash screen label text. So for that we use simple for loop for letter in title text. Now we have to add timer dot schedule timer with interval. What we have to do is we can multiply once we have to create another variable character index 0, 0.0 and we are going to multiply the character index value with 0 0.2 and repeat must be false so it won't repeat our animation here we have to increment our character index value by 1 now we are going to add text to our label self dot splash label dot text Start append here letter that's it now we will see some nice flashing e effect see we are getting text animation in most of the applications you will see this kind of effect yeah that is for the today thanks for watching